I want to try a new project with elements and principles, so let's dive into it now. Hey class, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a new idea with elements and principles. Why? Because sometimes just writing out definitions is really boring and I just don't want to do it anymore. And I know most of you don't either. So let's try and figure out a new way to do it. So trying to come up with a new idea, a new concept is always a difficult task. But today we're just going to be taking something that we like with something that we have to do. For my students, we were working on a elements and principles design definition pack and for that we need to take the definition and apply it to the design that we we're working on what does that mean let me show you and now for me that meant the word pattern that was the first one that i wanted to work on and for my students taking that word pattern and then applying it to the design that we're trying to do proved a little challenging but here's what i took did with it first we wrote out the word, word pattern now for me i like graffiti but graffiti has a lot of steps to it now once the students wrote out the word pattern they took that single line that they drew out and then they start drawing blocks around it now this gives you a block style block style is just where you've outlined the letter with another shape just to give space into each of those letters now that's another element of art but we're not going to be dealing with that in every single case we're going to try and mix them up a little bit finally once you have those block letters done then you're gonna add some color add a little more line a little flavor come up with the other with your final design for that now for this what we've done going from the block style into the color application, we took and added color in different pattern elements so that I have a pattern transferring across my image. So I can see uh, these little red circles or peach pink circles with the green line on top. That's my pattern that goes all the way across. So I'm getting my definition into the design at the same time. That's key to doing these definitions. Now for me, I really focus on the principles for this term. Uh, next time we're gonna be doing the elements. So for this project, you're gonna see a lot of these that we're gonna circle with the principles. So let's look into how I did graffiti styles for each of these letters.
Now, I hope you guys got something fun out of that class. As always, we're trying to create something new and something different each day. So let's go ahead and close out class as we always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it on all the various platforms. Try and get the message out there to as many people as we possibly can. If you had a question, comment, or concern, raise those hands down in the comments below. Happy to answer those questions from you guys. As always, I will see you guys next class. Until then, later guys.